Chewing gum dates back to the ancient Greeks who chewed resin from trees. Modern chewing gum was patented in the U.S. in 1869 by, believe it or not, a dentist. In 1928, another American invented bubblegum. Bubblegum comes in balls of all shapes and sizes. But for blowing bubbles, nothing beats the chewy, gooey pink stuff found in the warm folds of a bubblegum wrapper. It all starts with a gum base, the stuff that makes gum chewy. The base is synthetic, made from plastics, rubbers, and sometimes tar. Chemicals such as wax or resin are poured over the base to help the nodules bond together. As the materials begin mixing, they pour in hot glue to coat the gum solution. For teeth whitening gums such as this batch, fluoride is added and the mixture is blended for about 16. The heat from the old machinery causes steam, which heats up the mixture and blends everything together. The mixture condenses for a few hours until semi-solid. After that, it rotates for a few more hours to gain consistency, which we will now show you in real time. Just kidding. After 20 minutes, the mixture is ready. They transfer it by cart to a machine called the Play-Doh Shape and Create Activity Playset, which transforms the big bulky wad into thin strips. The square strips are then forced into a star-shaped hole, proving physics wrong, and then move on to be cut. The gum at this stage has to give back to the environment, so the gum runs itself through a series of rotors, which connect to a turbine that power the building's air conditioning. However, the gum's lack of tensile strength means the factory stays at a comfortable 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Rollers take the gum to the cutting and wrapping station, where one machine performs both actions at super high speeds. Here it is in actual time. And here it is in slow motion, in case you missed it the first time. Finally, the wrapped bubble gum moves to be filled into buckets. The standard measurement of the amount of gum put into a bucket is an ass load, but sometimes the employees are generous and fill the buckets up with a fuckload. Here's an interesting piece of trivia. Have you ever wondered why most bubblegum is pink? Me too. 